everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is project number three of my Easter series 2019 and this is a triple egg dome carrier, something like that anyway. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what I'll call it yet, but um, these are Cadbury's cream eggs. I don't know if these are available worldwide. I'm not quite sure. I'd love to know. Um, anyway, in the UK, these are hugely popular all year round, really, but they are just sold in their millions during Easter. You can buy them in packs of five. You can buy them on their own. You can buy them as part of a bigger Easter egg kind of pack. I bought the pack. I bought two packs of five and then I can do three of these and then have one to eat for myself. So I just thought it was a nice way and a very inexpensive way to, you know, give these as a gift in this lovely little holder so you can carry it like so. It's just got this acetate dome. They are stuck down with some foam sticky pads so they don't move anywhere. Well, they wobble a bit, but you know what I mean? They're not gonna fall out during transit. Finish with a nice little bow. So really simple to do. You could pop any uh, of this side, this size egg in there. I have obviously, these aren't traditional Easter colors as such, but they are the colors that match the eggs. So yeah, that's what we're gonna make. So as I said, really easy, quick as well. And you don't need much, so I've got my ribbon to finish there. That's my little handle and some tiny, dinky little brads. Let me just show you how small they were. I found these little gold ones right at the bottom of my jar. But they are the smallest brads, but worked really nicely. I don't know if you actually noticed them just on the bottoms of the handle there. So you need a piece that's four by seven and a half. I know this only goes up to six and something, but I know I cut this to seven and a half. And then what you want to do is on all four sides is you want to score it half an inch and one inch, okay? Then rotate it again, half an inch and one inch. And just do that on all four sides. Okay, so that's what you should have with all these score lines. This little piece here for the handle, this is optional, you might not even want to have a handle because it does look nice just as a nice little carrier or kind of case as such um, without the handle. This is three eighths of an inch by six and a quarter. And then for that base mat that it all sits on, this is two and three eighths of an inch by six. You don't need to score or do anything with that. And then you want a piece of acetate that is, oh gosh, I can't even see it. Let me just pop this underneath just so I can see the measurement. So it's five and a half by six. Okay, and that's a piece of acetate. This is just the Crafter's Companion, really thin acetate. You want something that's gonna not be too bulky and actually you want something that's not gonna ping off. Even though that's stuck with red tape, if you've got a really strong acetate, it will naturally wanna go back to its straight, you know, original form. Whereas if you've got something that's really soft, that isn't gonna pull away. So in this case, you don't want a really strong acetate. You want quite a flimsy, acetate. Okay so first of all before you fold and burnish all of your score lines on this piece you want a circle die that's going to be roughly if you're using the same size cream eggs as me then you're going to want a circle die that is one and a quarter okay in diameter roughly that shape. Now the egg will sit in it but it won't completely touch the bottom and that's why I added the foam adhesive just to kind of allow it to be able to stick to something. Now if you've got a circle that's slightly bigger than that, I would die cut it on a piece of rough paper first and sit your egg in it. You want it to be able to hit or come through, it's hard to explain, you want it to sit inside that circle by half an inch. So that you see what I mean, this is half an inch here, so if it sits half an inch down it's going to hit the bottom of this and you can just put some, you know, a glue dot or something. Because mine was slightly above it, I've padded it out with um, some foam adhesive, which you'll see me do. So that's the size I'm using. If you've got slightly bigger than fine, if you go too big, it will just wobble about in the circle. You don't want to be able to see the circle. You can't see it, it just, the eggs just sat nicely in there, okay? You don't want to be able to look inside it. Right, so I've just got my big shot here, and what you want to do is you're gonna, die cut three circles within the large rectangle in the middle. Okay, so ignore all your lines, you'll have this big rectangle. And the easiest way to do it is first of all start from the middle. So I'm going to, I've got a magnetic base plate and sometimes it does move your dies. Now if you want to get your ruler out, you can. I am just going to eyeball this. because so I've done, it's um, my second one now, I think I know where I am with it. So that looks about right. So I'm gonna run that one through first. Okay, so that's my first circle die cut. And then you wanna go 
either side of it, again keeping a nice equal distance from that score line and to this circle here. So just move that around a bit until I'm happy. That's about right. Remember it always cuts slightly shorter than the actual full width of the die. That looks about right there. Run that one through. And then the last one you just want to do at the other end. So again, line it up, make sure it's all nice and even, equal sides, and get that one die cut. Okay, so that's now what you should have. So next you can burnish it. You may need to go in, score some of those lines again, because they, you know, each die machine's different. Um, this has almost got rid of them, but I can just about see them. So yeah, it's just having the score lines there makes it easy for you to line up where to put those circles. If you've done it the other way around and done the circles first, you're going to have to measure in everything, so it's not so it's easier to do it that way. So just fold and burnished all of those score lines, and next you just want to cut where you've got these four squares here, just like we would do with a reinforced lid or box. You're going to cut down both of those past the first score line down to the second. These outer two you're going to remove completely and then just remove that top one so you're left with this tab. Okay, And then just tidy off your all your edges here. So just take little wedges off like so. Okay, and go across this one here. Again, cut nice and neatly down those two. Remove the two outer squares. Remove that top square and then again just take little wedges off of all of the sides. Okay, so that's what you have. Flip the whole thing around and repeat that. Okay, next you want to add some tape and it's easiest to do this now while it's flat rather than when it's all together. So you want to add tape along all of the four sides. Don't go over the tabs because I'm going to be using wet glue to stick them together. If you don't have any wet glue, then I would just run your sticky tape right across there, okay? Once you see what I'm doing, it's easier to do this rather than when it's put together because you want to make sure that this is all stuck down and you're able to push down on it while it's flat. Once you put it together, it's quite difficult. Well, it's not, well, it's just fiddly. Okay, and then... All right, I'm just using a thin tape here. It's only it's a small gift and it's not, you know, you don't need to go over the top with it, like so. Now I'm going to bring in my wet glue, pop it on these four tabs. Do one at a time. So do that one first, bring it down and bring this side one over. And just make sure that you get a nice right angle there. Don't worry about this tape, it's just easier to put that on before we stick these sides down. I'm just going to let that stick, okay, and then go to the next one, pop a little bit of glue on, bring it down and under and bring round the sides there. And again, and then do the same on this end. Okay, and then if you, it's up to you, bring in the longer sides and then if you just pop a little bit of glue just at the ends there, just to kind of tack those bits down there. You're going to stick everything down in a second, but if you pop it down like that and then just go in with something that you can push down in the corners and that way you'll know that you're getting that actually stuck down properly. Like so. And then again this end here, just pop a little bit of glue just on the tops there and then fold that over. Flip it upside down and just stick that all. Next we can bring in the base here and I'm going to pop glue, you can use double sided tape, all the way down here. Okay, and then you just want to stick this down, making sure it sits perfectly so that you have equal border on all four sides. And again, just using this, I'm just going to go in and I can go over all that card inside, making sure it's all nicely stuck down. Okay, so that's now what you should have. 
Okay, so now we want to stick these in. So I've got my three cream eggs and I've just got some double-sided pads here. And what I find is if you just fold it in half and stick them together, so this is the nice smooth piece on the outside, and then peel that off. Peel just one half off, like so, and just stick it just roughly in the middle of that, like so. This is only because mine don't, if I pop that in now, it just it sits in there perfectly, but it doesn't, it would just fall out. So like I said, if you've got a slightly bigger circle, there's enough room still to fit those three in, even if you go slightly larger, you just won't have so much of a gap, you know, a space here. And that, and you can feel the egg hit the bottom, then that's fine. You just need to put a glue dot there and then it'll just hold it in place. But because I'm just slightly free from it actually touching the bottom, by me just adding this like little foam sticky pad there, it just lifts it up enough for then the egg to stick to. So I'm just doing three of them, folding them in half, and then just sticking them there, like so. Now because this obviously is, is a case, so it's actually completely enclosed, the idea is, is that they can take them out from the sides there and then once they've eaten one from each side they can just take out the middle one. So, or they can rip into it. I mean, again, I'm not precious with things like that. I don't mind if, you know, if people want to rip it up, rip it up, it, you know, enjoy it. So now I want to make sure that you can see, yeah, that's better. I'll put that one there actually, like so. Um, so that was the one that was down below. And then I'm going to pop that one in the middle because that one really stands out. And that one down the end there. So now if I bring it up, you can see how they look. Next, you need your piece of acetate. So the five and a half inch length is what's going to stick along this side, wrap over, and then stick on the back. Okay. So with the five and a half facing you, I'm going to use my grid here. Maybe if I bring in this red piece here. What you want to do, this is if you want to add the handle, you might not want to. This is six inches here, so I'm just going to pop my ruler on top here and come down and at the three inch marker I know that that's the centre here. Oh, I've just got some sticky on that now, I have to rub that off in a minute. So this invisible line here is three inches, that's the middle. Now roughly again, I'm eyeballing all of this, you might want to measure it all, but there and there is where I want to pop two holes. So I'm just using my uh, screw punch by X cut. So there's one, and I'm just going to go along and do the second one. So I've completely eyeballed that, but that is basically what you want. You can see there. So halfway along, I'm putting the two holes. Mine are roughly uh, two inches apart. Okay, and um, it's easier again to do that now rather than <laughs> when you've done that. So I'm just going to clean. So just spray some surgical spirit. It's a perfect way to clean off any sticky marks. I use it to clean my mats. I use it in all kinds of things, so it's brilliant. But it removes anything sticky brilliantly. Okay, so I've got a nice clean sheet of acetate. Okay, so then what you want to do is with your little handle here, I don't know if I gave the scoring measurements, this is six and a quarter by three eighths, you just want to score at half an inch at each end, so half and half, okay, and then just fold that over, like so, and then if you just, probably should have done that before, just curl it all, and then fold those bits out, and that's how you're going to get your handle, okay, again it's entirely up to you how you know, big you want that to be. And then I'm going to bring this piece back in again with those little brads and also just to add some extra kind of strength to it, I'm just popping some double sided tape on the back of each of those tabs. So the brad is actually decorative as well as obviously, you know, holding the handle in place, but this just keeps all the, the card actually stuck to the acetate. So just make sure it's all stuck down, like so. And then just to help start it off, I'm just going to poke a hole in the middle of this kind of little tab here, this rectangle. So just a little hole, like so. And then again on the other side, like so. And then you can take the backing off, and you just want to stick it again with the five inch. So five and a half inch side facing you, my two holes are there. Again, let me bring in 
it's easier for you to see when I bring this in here. And then I'm going to stick that now right over that circle that I've already punched, just so the little circle, you know, is slightly tacked down so I know that that's in the place that I want it to be. And then I'm just going to remove the backing from here. And again, just stick that one down. And then I can pop through both of my brads. And it's just so much easier to do this before you stick it all down because you've got the eggs all in the way and stuff. Okay, so you can see there. And now when that curls over, the handle will be nice and centered. Okay, so now we just need to attach this. So if you just remove the tape, in fact, yeah, I'll do the front first because then if anything goes wrong, at least it's hidden at the back. So take the front one off and then just kind of lean it away from you and you want to make sure the acetate sits on the red card in my case, right flush at the bottom and then lines up with either side of this yellow piece. Just make sure that's all stuck down like so and then I'm going to pop it on this side and just remove the backing and that's what I was meant to do as well but it doesn't matter I'll show you in a moment we should have put some sticky tape on the ends of the acetate so what I would say is before you stick the acetate down is run some double sided tape on the outer sides so the same size that the, the same side that the handles on put some tape at the very edge because now when you see what we've got to do you will understand why I said to stick the tape down before because now we need to put some tape back over this acetate again. Okay. So yeah, just always watch the tutorial through first and then you'll be able to see what you want to do. So now you should have this all stuck down and you should have double tape here, here, here and here. And now that's for me to attach my ribbon. So I've got this nice yellow here and I'm going to start from, I'm just going to make sure that's nice and neat. I'm going to keep that bit in a minute because you'll see why. So first of all, I'm going to take my backing off of the front, static there, and start from the middle because I'm going to cover this with a bow. Now if you're not going to put a bow on the front, then do start this at the back, okay? Because this is the join. So I'm going to start in the middle there and just go along there and then take the backing off that side. Again, follow that along. So if you are a little bit off with your acetate or if there's anything that you're not happy with, maybe the folds on the tray, this is good to use the ribbon because it will cover all of that up. You can see there, that just covers up all the corners and everything. So, and obviously makes it look nice and pretty. And then I can finish off now. And I'm just going to roughly hover that there so I can see. I need to cut that. I just cleaned these scissors yesterday and already they are full of sticky. And pop that on there. So I'm going to cover that with a bow. So again, some more yellow. I always use way too much, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. Okay, and then this little bit here, I am going to very carefully cut it. I'm just going to seal off the ends there. And then I'm going to stick that over that join and then the bow over that. So it just kind of conceals everything. And there's my bow. So it was a little bit bigger, I might move that one down, but if I hold that one there, you can see two of them. How cute are they? So there you have it guys, two really lovely little triple egg cases or holders or something. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to call them yet, but I really like them. I think they make an inexpensive chocolate look like a really lovely gift. So I hope you like it, I hope you've been inspired, I hope you're enjoying what I'm making for this year's Easter series so far and I'll be back again on Wednesday with another tutorial. Thanks for watching, bye!